right guys, so just giving you some details about our Saturday workout. We're very, very excited to have all of you guys here with us to celebrate our five years of being open, okay? So how it's gonna work, just make sure that you guys are here on time. You're gonna be starting at 8.30 a.m. promptly, okay? So make sure you guys are here. When you guys come in, we're gonna have coaches outside to sanitize your hands. Just make sure you guys are please, please, please wearing your masks since there's gonna be a lot of us in here at a time before we get to separate you guys in between your stations, okay? There's gonna be three stations that we're going to work through. Uh, there's gonna be a workout out in the front parking lot, one inside and then one outside as well. But we have to number you guys off, so just make sure you guys are here. We give you a number, you wear your mask. Until you get to that spot, you can take your mask off and then enjoy your workout, okay? Uh, after that, just after every uh, workout that we're going through, just make sure you guys kind of hang out. We're not going to stretch. We're gonna pass out some champagne, uh, food aids, whatever you guys need, and then we're gonna do a toast, and then you can go on your way and enjoy the rest of your Saturday, okay? Have fun, and we'll see you We work out. All right guys, so workout today, well, quad number one, you guys have a 10 minute chipper with a partner, okay? So how it's gonna work, you and your partner are gonna go through this together, okay? So starting off with a 400 meter weighted run. For this one, you guys are running it together and you guys can pass back that weighted object back and forth however many times as you would like, okay? Running to that 400 together and then coming back. Once you get back, only one partner is gonna be working at a time, getting through the three bottom movements. You have 100 snatches, you have 75 dressers, and then 50 burpees okay so ab and our partners he goes first he's gonna knock out 10 snatches then i do 10 snatches going back and forth until we equal the 100 and then dressers do exact thing just talk to your partner do as many as you can and then switch thereafter okay now if you guys complete all the movements within that 10 minute time gap then you earned yourself some extra rest okay so for the 100 snatches we'll talk about that you guys are going to start at the hips you guys are going to hike it in between the hips and keep that kind of elbow nice and tight to your body so think about bringing that elbow up to the ceiling and then punching it up overhead you guys can switch arms however you like how often you would like and then once he's done he would just let me know and then he'll hand it to me and then i'm going to do my snatches back and forth okay uh thrusters you guys have had that in the front arm position feet shoulder width set the button hips back down on the way up press that kind of ball up overhead back into the squat and up again okay last movement y'all know burpees so for this one you're going to drop your chest down to the ground you're going to warm yourself up jump and clap again just communicate with your partner switch back and forth however you would like how about this and we'll see you for one number two all right, y'all, wad at number two. We have another 10-minute ladder, okay, another 10-minute workout. You and your partner are going to be working back and forth, okay? So you guys have an ascending ladder, starting off with a rep count of two. After you complete two reps, you guys are going to increase by two after every single quote-unquote round, okay? Two movements that your rep counts are going to change with. You have toes to bar and overhead squats, okay? So AP and I are partners. I do two toes to bar, and then he does two toes to bar. I do two overhead squats. He does two overhead squats. Boom. That blue dash tells us we have one rope climb each. Now, if we're not working on rope climbs, we're going to be doing five over the bar burpees instead, okay? Once we are done, we go to four. I do four toes to bar. He does four toes to bar. He does four overhead squats. I do four, one rope climb each, so on and so forth, working your way back up, okay? So you have to wait for that partner to be done. Uh, one partner is going to be working at a time, okay? Move it. Toes to bar. Hop on there. Use that big aggressive kick to get your toes to touch the bar. Now, if you're not there yet, just choose a target, whether it's your chest, your armpits, whatever it is, stay consistent and work on that kick, okay? Uh, if you're not doing toes to bar, you guys can work on V-ups if the ring is just not working for you. So hollow body position and then snap up, reaching for those toes, okay? Then your overhead squats, you guys are going to go ahead and grab that barbell, okay? Nice wide grip. Now from here, he's going to power snatch it up overhead, okay? Making sure the upper body is nice and locked out. Feet shoulder width. Take the uh, nice big deep breath in. Send the butt hips back and down. Break parallel and stand it up. Make sure your eyes are up in front of you. Looking out, not look down, okay? And then you guys have your rope climbs, okay? So RX method. You guys are going to hop on there. You're going to have that rope on the inside of the knee, outside the foot. You guys are bending on the lean back, scooping that rope on top of the other foot, and then stand on up. Release that clamp. And then repeat that process all the way up to that great duct tape. You come down, keep the legs straight, have some room between your feet, walk yourself hand under hand until your feet reach the ground. Okay? Now your progression here. We have the knotted rope. So you guys are gonna have your hands up high, look down, jump with two feet, landing with that knot in the middle of your feet, and then standing on up. Now from here, he's gonna kick that rope out in front of him, he's gonna tuck the knees, bring the feet up to that next clamp, and then walk himself all the way up. Go high, up, as high up as you feel comfortable, another come down, bring your butt down to your heels, slide your feet down to the next knot until your feet reach the ground. Again, if we are not working on our rope climbs, we're doing five over the bar burpees, okay? So chest is gonna go down, instead of jumping and clapping, he's gonna jump over the bar, and then go right into his next rep, okay? Have bonus, and we'll see you for round number three. All right guys, wad number three here, we have a 10 minute air map, so as many rounds as possible, you and your partner are gonna be splitting the reps together. Uh, so how it's gonna work, you guys have 40 sumo deadlift high pulls, you guys have 30 swings, 20 goblet squats, and then a 200 meter tire 
drag, drag. So the first three movements, you guys are going to be splitting up. That tire drag, you guys are going to be doing together. So we're going to start you guys up with the stations. One partner is going to work at a time. You guys are just going to alternate back and forth until you guys hit that required rep down, go down to the next movement, and then you guys are going to continue to cycle through for the remainder of the 10 minutes, okay? First movement for your 40 single, uh, single deadlift high pulls, you're going to get into a wide stance, okay? Butt is down, back is flat, both hands on that kettlebell. You're going to drive through the legs. It's going to bring that kettlebell underneath the chin, making sure those elbows go up to the ceiling, back down to the ground gently, and then back up again, okay? So again, he does however many he wants. I go to my turn. We're going to go back and forth until we hit that rep cap. Now we have swings, so hike it in between the hips. Use the hips for momentum to get that kettlebell all the way up overhead, making sure your head comes through the window your arms are making, okay? Next moment, you guys have your goblet squat, so holding that kettlebell off of your chest, feet tilt your width, send the butt hips back and down, break parallel, keep that chest up tall, do not let that kettlebell drag you down, okay? Now your last one, your 200 